Hello, this is Andrew Ford, and we're going to look at using the key attribute in expressions. We have a very simple composition here. We have a text layer that says hello, and we have a blue rectangle shape layer. The text layer is keyframed with two position keyframes, one off screen, and an ease in keyframe at 10 frames where hello comes down from the top. We're going to make an expression so the blue rectangle ends up underneath the hello text at this keyframe. And we're using an expression so that no matter where we move the keyframe in the timeline or whatever we change the value to, the blue rectangle will still match up. So first, we'll hit the P button to bring up the position properties of our shape layer. As you know, position has two values, an X and a Y value. So we're going to want to separate the dimensions and we'll want to deal with the Y position in this instance because we want the blue rectangle to move up in our screen to go underneath the hello text. So now we'll alt click or option click the stopwatch to create an expression. The first thing we'll want to do is create a variable that follows the time property of the keyframe on the text layer. So we'll make up a variable name, let's call it text time equals, then we'll use the pick whip to drag over to our text layer position. To this, we want to append dot key and then two, which would be the number of the keyframe we wish to track. Keyframe here at zero is one, and this is the second keyframe here at 10 frames. So we're gonna put two in our parentheses, and then we are going to choose the time property. The key object has three properties you can choose from. If we go to our expression helper here, we can see you can choose from value, time, and index. But in this case, we're tracking time, so we will add dot time and go to the next line. Now we also want to track the keyframe value. So when we move its position, our rectangle will follow. So we'll create a new variable, let's call it text value equals, we'll pick back over to the position property again. We will hit dot key, we will do parentheses too because we're still talking about the same keyframe. But now we will hit dot value to use the value property of the key object. Now here we have to set an index value for value because position has two values. The X value is zero and the Y value was one. Since we're tracking the Y position, we will put a one inside the brackets. Now our next line will be what we want it to do. For this instance, let's try creating an ease. So we'll type in ease. And then we need to add five values inside the parentheses for an ease expression. The first is time. We simply type in the words time. Then it's going to be our initial time input, which will be zero in this case, the beginning, and our ending time input. But since we want that to be whatever that second keyframe is, we can just use our variable we created in our expression up here, text time. Next will come the value. I want this shape layer to come in from off screen. So I will type in 850. Finally would be our ending value, but again, since we want that tied to this keyframe, we will use the variable we created before, which is text value. So with all that data in the parentheses, we can check out our composition. Note that now the blue shape layer comes up and goes perfectly underneath the hello text as we wanted. But since we've made an expression now, we can do a lot of things with the second keyframe and everything will adjust automatically. If we expand this keyframe out to the one second mark, notice that the animation times out to happen over one second. If we change the position value and move hello over here, notice that the rectangle will still follow and it will even change the speed accordingly, slowing down the rectangle since it has less distance to travel. So there are the benefits of making an expression using the key attribute. And remember the key object has three properties, time, index, and value. Thank you.